Welcome back guys, so the PvP build for the Flysong patch. I'm on my stamina nappy this time with an in-cap based one-hit gang build. In-cap deals, as you know, disease damage with Swamp Raider. We gain 600 extra weapon spell damage to our poison and disease damage abilities. The other set is Corruptite for 740 weapon spell damage. A monster set by Lorg for extra penetration weapon damage. And back bar, just of attachment greatsword for extra weapon damage if I'm combat. I'm on 5 medium armor, 2 light, full divines of course with max stamina glyphs, infused on the jewelry with full weapon damage, 2 maces for extra pen, non sharp flame poison, and back bar, just a greatsword. In this case, Nurm, defending would be probably better with the berserker glyph. Keep in mind, this build is not made for 1vx, small scale or triad fights. It's a pure glass cannon one hit gang build, do not expect anything else. It took me around over 2 days for a little bit of gameplay footage. You need to search squishy targets with around 20 to 28k HP. It will be hard to kill players with around 30k or even 40k HP. I call those builds entertainment builds means those one shot look cool. But the time invest is probably not worth the play. If you're not a content creator, so it's up to you. If you want to use it for an evening, for a couple of days, just for fun, then it's worth to try. The feeling after pure one hit is always something special. Skills, front bar camouflage hunter for my berserk, savagery and slayer, 3% extra weapon damage. Circle of protection just slotted for slayer, silver bolts, which I use after incap. Why silver bolts though? And not silver shards. Silver shards is an AoE, means it gets empowered by biting aura and not by daily aim. That's actually the only reason why I use the unmorphed silver bolts. Then relentless focus for extra weapon spell damage with 5 stacks and 10% crit damage with hemorrhage. Barb trap just not of a slayer and incap. Our ultimate, which deals around 20 to 24k damage, depends on the target. Back bar rally for major brutality and for Vatashon to proc those frenzy stacks. Resume Vega self heal, chant acceleration for minor force. Seeming frenzy for extra weapon spell damage. Shadow scales on the back bar, like this we can put a fighter skill bit on the front bar for extra weapon damage. And barrier just slotted for magicka region. As Ray's Orc, probably not the best choice, Kajit should be better. Mundus the Shadow for 17% extra crit damage. The green max stamina food is buff food for a little bit more max stamina. And Vamp stage 2 for the Vamp passive strike from the Shadows, which gives us more weapon spell damage, another 300. Potions, the Tricep Potions, CPs. Daddy Aim, Master Arms, Backstabber and Ruffle Strikes, Rejuvenation, Celerity, Bastion and Boundless Vitality. Quick talk about the combo. Pre-buff yourself with Relentless Focus, Channel Acceleration, Rally and Simmering Frenzy. Wait until you got 5 Frenzy Stacks. By the way, you have to drain your stamina of course too for Corruptite until around 33% for the maximum weapon damage bonus, don't forget that. Step closer. And use Shadow Disguise meanwhile. If you're in range, use Incap without a light or heavy attack in between, otherwise, we would lose the guaranteed crit on Incap. And then Silver Bolts if needed as follower. That's it with the PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you hopefully in the next vid. Peace.